Good morning, Jubilee family. It is so good to be with you this morning. My name is Mary Chopin, and I will be bringing us our devotion today, which is called Go and Bless the World. Go and bless the world. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds like a tall order. But let's go ahead and dig into God's word and see what he means when he means go and bless the world. Well, our verse today comes from Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. So let's read that together. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. And I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and him who dishonors you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. God used ordinary Abraham. He was called Abram here, but later called Abraham. He's 75 years old and childless. And God promised to bring blessing and to make him into a great nation. Now, the greatest blessing that came from Abraham was Christ. Way back in the Bible, right after the fall, after sin entered the world, God made a promise to his people in Genesis chapter 3, 15. And he said that he was going to make things right, that he was going to restore what sin had broken and destroyed in the garden. He promised to defeat Satan through a promised seed or deliverer or descendant, and we know that that is Christ. And this promised seed would bring deliverance and peace to the world. So the promised seed or deliverer would come from Abraham's family line. God called Abraham out of the land he was currently living in to go to a new land that God would show him. So basically, Abraham was called to leave the world behind and to follow God into the unknown. Now, this is the life of faith. Abraham and Sarah, they were old and they were childless. So how would God bring a nation from this family? Now, this is a life of trusting God by faith, not by sight. God loves to work through what we see as impossible situations. The call on Abram's life was not just for him to be blessed, but for him to be a blessing to others. As Christ followers, we have that same mission to go and bless others, and that blessing comes from sharing Christ with others. Our world is dark and it's spinning out of control When we put our hope in the world, we become discouraged and downcast by what's going on around us. But when we put our hope in God and his word and his promises to us, we can have joy and peace when life seems uncertain. Because of Jesus, the greatest blessing we've received, we have hope to share. So what person living in darkness do you think might be impossible for God to save? Maybe you've prayed that God would reveal himself to this person. Let's pray that God would open a door for each of us to be able to share our hope in those impossible situations in our lives today. Let's pray fiercely and ask God boldly to work in and through us as we bring the light of Christ to our world. Jesus is the blessing we get to share. This is a get to. We get to share Jesus with those who are hopeless. Acts 1.8 reminds us that we are called to be part of God's gospel plan. He invites us to join him. It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So who needs hope today? Who needs that blessed hope that you've received? Is it a family member or a neighbor or a coworker? Sometimes God calls us to go to a far away land, 
but many times he's calling us to go into the world right where he has us, in Kirkwood, in the city, in the Lake of the Ozarks, in Washington, Missouri. You fill in the blank where God has you right now. If we've been touched by the gospel and the love of Jesus Christ, we are all called to share that hope and to be a blessing right where God has called us. You have the promised Holy Spirit who walks with you and empowers you to go and do great things. So as you finish your fast this week, be thinking of who God has called you to bless today. Many times our blessings come in the form of giving, giving of our time, our talent, our financial blessings, which all come from God anyway. Many times he calls us to share those with others. Our blessings to others begins by showing the love of Christ. Go and love broken people like Christ loves us. Go in the strength and love of God to the world that is broken. God tells us to leave this world, but he says to go in to the world, to engage it, to walk alongside broken people. But we can't forget to bring our hope with us. We can't forget to bring our hope into the world. We can't forget to bless the world by sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. Just like God used Abraham, God wants to do great things in and through us. So how will you allow God to use you to bring the blessing of Jesus to the world today? Let's pray. Father, thank you that the gospel made it to us. We are part of the ends of the earth that you passionately died to save. We pray now for people of different cultures, languages, skin tones and nationalities to have the opportunity to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Give me courage to give generously, to go boldly and to pray fiercely so that the gospel will continue to be proclaimed and believed around the world. Help us to expect great things from you and attempt great things with you today. Amen.